everybody. Welcome to Candy Coda Conversations with your girl Candace here. And look, today we have another episode of the Candy Coda Courtroom, episode two. And this one is a big one, you guys. Um, like I said, I'm not watching any of these without you. So my reaction is a first time reaction when I'm looking at these. Um, and just to put that out there again, these are reaction videos, okay? So you guys, I will be stopping periodically to go over and react to what I'm seeing in the video. But this one should be interesting, you guys, because there's some big money involved. Um, in this case that we're going to review, a mom says dad owes $172,000 in child support arrears. The dad says he paid her $100,000 directly. So we definitely want to get into this and see what is going on, see if we agree with what's going on. And look, Dad, you say you gave her a hundred thousand in cash. Can you prove it? So let's let's take a look and see what's going on, you guys. Thousand four dollars and thirty six cents accurately reflect child support arrearage owed to Ms. Sue Johnson. No, ma'am. And why do you believe it does not accurately reflect child support arrears? Because I, I pay direct payments. I am disputing all of that. I am okay. disputing whatever. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, is that, is that, is, does he have a lawyer? Is, does he have a lawyer? What is he contesting? Like, um, what, what is the actual amount that you're contesting, Doug? Because, you know, whatever amount you're contesting does not pay back for the cars that we paid for, the housing that, that we put the kids in so what what exactly are you contesting you're asking me to can't do that um there's a lot of issues in dispute here could there have been a possibility that Ms. Vu thought that these payments were for other purposes besides child support is he still a manager at his job your honor objection relevancy but he had also asked my husband do you remember that doug where did that 900 dollars come from where did that amount come from because the divorce decree on here says the ma'am okay. ma'am ma'am this is not appropriate what you're doing right now i'm just trying to show a pattern of, of of deceit and lies with this person um i was told i was told recently that um if he like got another job and he made more money was he not supposed to report that i, I don't know if that's true or not was he supposed to report that Mom is saying dad owes $172,000 in child support arrears, but dad is saying he paid $98,000 directly. Okay, you guys. Now, they they put a lot of the information here, but it's so small. I don't even know why they bother because nobody can read that. But um, right off the bat, it's striking me that dad is trying to be deceitful. I mean, because yeah, I know in these type of situations, you don't want her asking you any questions, but why would you say, is it relevant if you're being asked, are you a manager at your job? So still, so sound like you was ready to tell a lie or you didn't want to be put on the spot about any money that you might be making right now. And I'm just hearing her say at the end, did you guys hear it? What well, she's asking, was he supposed to report his increase in income. Okay, so let's get back into it. And look, mama's feisty. Look, the judge had to try to check her from the start. Look, you're doing too much. This is highly irregular. You know, calm down. Look, but she's, look, but mama's hype. She said he, she tried to say deceitful. You, look, he's a liar. Straight up. Listen to me, judge. So let's see what else is going on here. With checks. This time, um, I would like to ask the court to take judicial notice of the motion to enter the quadro, along with the um, attached exhibits, which include the final decree of divorce as states exhibit A, and the payment record about at the time of the pleading, Whoa. Um, which is smart that states exhibit B. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And Look, now, I don't know if you guys read that on, on the, on the uh, screen, but... The mother is asking the judge to implement something that would allow her to get paid from his a retirement plan. So mama's going for the big guns. Oh, let's let's see. Particularly, I would like to ask the court to take judicial notice of the decree on page 19, which orders Mr. Doug Boo to pay current child support in the amount of one thousand 
$398.13 per month starting September 1st, 2006. Okay. And also includes a step yeah, down. Yes, he does pay a nice amount of child support, $1,300 a month. Um, it's not clear on how many children this is for. Could be for one child. You never know if he, you know, has that good of a job. Could be for one child. We don't know if this is for multiple children yet. Child support amount of $1,118.96 per month um, when there is only one child left um, unemancipated. Um, I do take judicial notice of oh, the pleading as well as I'm going to run that back because in it's, the, it's like she addressed the issue of how many dollars and 13 cents per month starting September 1st, 2000 support amount of $1,118.96 per month um, when there's only one child left um, unemancipated. Um, okay. Um, I do that take judicial notice child. of the pleading as well as the divorce decree and the payment record. Uh, before we get too deep into this, I just want to make sure everyone is ready to proceed today. Um, this is the first setting and it's only was filed last month. So I just want to make sure you're both ready to move forward. Your Honor, mm -hmm. Your Honor I, I wasn't aware that um, I couldn't dispute the amount in this, in this, um, in this setting and that I would have to file a, a dispute. Um, so I thought this was the this would provide me the opportunity to dispute the amount, but Ms. Villarreal mentioned that it, it's not. And Your Honor, yes, there there are no pleadings regarding any um, confirmation of arrears. Um, we are just here on the OAG's live pleading motion to enter the quadro in this okay. case. Um, I will let you all know though, if there is an arrears dispute, I am not going to order a quadro, knowing that it might not be accurate. The pay record. Um, for whatever reason, and so uh, I'm the not underlying all these legal. He's contesting that he owes what the AG says he owes. It sounds like, mm -hmm. okay. um, and so I mean I don't know how much money is in the account. I don't know how much he's disputing. So that could affect me. I mean, if if there's a small amount of money in the account and he's only disputing a you know a small amount, then I would I would grant the quadro. Um, but if it's a sizable sum and he's disputing a sizable sum. Um, I, I believe that issue needs yep. to be addressed before yep. a quadro gets done because I, I don't want to take money that's not owed from somebody's accounts. Yeah, yeah, yes, ma'am. Um, I, I sent Ms. Burrell a couple of documents that are in the meeting chat. I don't know if you have access to those. Or and I can Your Honor, at, at this time, I am going to object to any documents provided by Mr. Vu since there are no live pleadings regarding the uh, dispute of the arrearage at this time. Um, I would believe at this point it would be outside of the scope of the pleadings that are before the court. Um, I don't, well, first of all, they haven't been admitted into evidence, um, and I'm not even sure what they are. Your Honor, it, it's an I, affidavit of direct payment of $98,100, as well as there's incorrect amounts in the accounting. There are a couple of collections that aren't recorded in the, um, in, in the accounting for a total of $9,296.22, ma'am. Now, I commend the father because, you know, he he's on top of his to it, it sounds like, I mean, we don't know the validity of the documents, but at least he is providing information and is ready to plead his case. There's nothing more annoying, at least for me, and, and usually it's in the case of men, so sorry, fellas, if it seems like I'm taking a shot, but I kind of am, but I hate when I hear cases where men just complain about the child support system when a lot of them either won't show up, you know, things like that. They don't bring their documentation. It goes both ways, even when things are going well. If you lose your job today, it's your right to go to the court and say, hey, I no longer have these funds. I'm no longer making this amount, and I need to have an adjustment until I'm working again. You don't have to just sit there and take it. And so that's the part. I went off on a little bit of a tangent, y'all, but that's the part that annoys me because it does work for you too if you if you are upfront about it. So let's see if um, that's a huge amount. And you guys heard the judge say, you know, hey, I don't play around with this. I need to have everything in order if we're discussing a large amount of money. And I would consider that to be a large amount of money. Okay, um, Ms. Villarreal, even though I'm an disputing, I am disputing all of that. that. I am disputing okay. whatever. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, please is don't that, interrupt. Is that, is, does he have a lawyer? Is, does he have a lawyer? Ma'am, I don't believe or he is does. That him? 
That is him. Um, because so, I don't recognize his Ms. voice Vu? at all. Ms. Vu? Ms. Vu. First of all, you're interrupting. Yeah. Second of all, I'm, um, I'm thinking you need to either be on the app where you can see people or be live in court um, because it's very hard for people to have contested hearings on the telephone. Um, like you're frustrated because you can't see what's happening, but that's because you're not on Zoom. Mr. Vu can see what's happening because he's on the Zoom app, as can I. Um, so I'm sorry that this is frustrating, but um, to participate fully, you may need to download the Zoom app. I tried doing that on okay. my uh, iPhone and I don't know how to do I'm not technical and it kept, it gave me, I took a screenshot to show that because so I went on and put on uh, H, what is it? I followed okay. the instructions and it did not work for me. And so uh, I was desperate and I called in. Okay, and that's fine. That I also was, think you can uh, probably just Google Zoom without downloading the app and still get on like this. Um, by that, that's something else that annoys me as well. When people come with these half-ass excuses, uh, you knew you had court. When you got your documentation that told you when your court date was, you should have downloaded Zoom at that time, not 10 minutes before you're supposed to be there or 30 minutes, even an hour. You should have had make sure that you had what you needed to participate and be there. Um, and if you had a set everything up so and made sure that you could get on, you wouldn't be having an issue. And quite frankly, sounds so angry and interrupting the judge like this. Children used to do that to get onto school sometimes. Um, so okay, I'm not sure you need you the app to, to fully participate, um, but I'm, I'm not, not a Zoom expert. I'm not the tech expert. I am the judge. So for one thing, um, so just be patient, especially since you can't see what's happening. I was going to let everyone know, since you are asking for money to pay these arrears, um, I believe you've put the arrears at issue. Um, so what they are does matter because it would affect what, if anything, I would grant. Um, but my initial question was, is, is everyone actually ready to proceed today? Do people need more time to get exhibits together? Um, do people, does anyone want to hire a lawyer? Um, I just want to make sure you're ready before we have a full loan hearing. Ma'am, I've, I've got the documents ready that I can share. Um, Ms. Vu, are you ready? I mean, I am here. I am ready, but I, he's saying that he has documentation. All I know is that the di divorce decree that... Um, um, you know, at all, at all, you know, so this is just about the, 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 um, this is just about the, um, the child support. Well, or and, is this about Ms. Villarreal, all... are, are you all ready to proceed today? Maybe you all need mm -hmm. to file a pleading to address the arrears, um, unless you're all willing to trial a bend. Um, and your honor, at this time, I, the state is not going to try the dispute of the arrears by consent. So okay. if Mr. Vu wants to file his own pleading, we can reset this matter in the future so that he can get that done. Um, but at this time, since there are no pleadings filed by Mr. Vu, um, state's not, not ready to proceed regarding his actual request for any direct payments or credit or anything like that as far as what he he is requesting the um, your honor to consider. Also, your honor, my my oldest son, I I took full custodial care of him starting in March. Okay, uh, so to... so that you're getting into the merits of the case, and we're not there yet. Um, at this point, I guess I'll give you all more time to figure out how you all want to proceed. Um, that includes can you, Mister Vu, okay. you, Miss View, and uh, Miss Ma'am. Can you please stop interrupting? Yes, um, yes, and Miss Villarreal as well. And we'll reset for everyone to see. Um, again, I, I don't know how much is in the account. I don't know how much this is an issue, um, but I am very hesitant to order quadros when arrears are in dispute. Yes, Your Honor. Um, how much time do you want, Mr. Vu, to to review to file pleadings? I do need a pleading before me to address the arrears if they are being contested. I can't yes, tell Honor. people what to file. I understand. I'd, I'd like, this. I'm sorry, go ahead, Mr. Vu. I was going to ask for two months so I can figure out how to handle this. Yeah. And Ms. Vu, did you have something you wanted to say? Two months. I'm, I'm trying to raise my hand. I'm like, what is he contesting? Like, um, what, what is the actual amount that you're contesting, Doug? Because, you know, whatever amount you're contesting, contest, contesting does not pay back for the cars that we paid for, the housing that, that, that we put the kids in. Uh, the educational loan that we took out. So what what exactly are you contesting? Okay, ma'am, that, that's not being addressed in court 
right now. Um, you all can discuss that offline, but that doesn't right now. That's not before me yet. Do you think we do January? have January eighth as well, Judge. Okay. We why don't we do January eighth? Okay. And eight thirty or eleven? Uh, can we do eleven thirty, Judge, on this one? Um, it's likely to be contested, so I think we should do eight thirty. Okay, that's fine. We might need a big old hearing. Yes, Judge. Uh, Your Honor, it, it, so the January 8th reset, is this for the quadro again, or is this for the the, um, the pleading? I can only entertain what is before me and what is filed with the court. Right now, all that's before me is the quadro. You all are free to file anything you want. Um, it, I don't want to limit you to just one pleading. Um, so if other pleadings get filed by anybody in this case, and it's properly filed and noticed to everybody, it can be addressed at that hearing. But okay. it needs to be filed by somebody. To be addressed whatever the pleading is thank your honor uh, may the parties be excused back to their breakout rooms so they can prepare a reset order and send them to them so they can sign yes yes you may be excused back to your breakout rooms um thank you and yes you're both free to consult well the ag doesn't represent either of you so you are both free to consult lawyers if you wish um or talk more to the ag about this issue okay thank you your honor. Okay, thank you um this appears to be a motion for a qualified okay. domestic relations so, order last time this is so just to keep everybody abreast of what's going on because this is multiple videos of this same case um but they're all put together so now we're going to the continuation because the judge was going to give them the opportunity to pull everything together so let's see if dad can prove his case i don't know mom seems like such a hothead i'm wanting to see okay dad can you pull it through and actually prove this and are you being truthful? I'm actually interested to know. This is before me. I believe there was a contest of arrears. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, neither party obtained an attorney, so I'm here to uh, um, ask that the quadro be uh, entered and signed. There are reasons, yes or no, and then um, ask that it be signed. And Okay, um, I expressed concern at the last hearing about um, entering a quadro while there's an arrears dispute. Um, I don't know why the Attorney General, is there an agreement to trial amend and address no. disputes? No, no, there is no agreement to amend, there's no agreement to um, anything, and um, neither party has filed a petition, counter petition, neither party's filed for possession credits or submitted uh receipts for direct payments um and i i do understand you ask parties to contact attorneys but neither one or mr boo has we don't have that i have no agreement mm -hmm. um all i have is the amount approved by chevron corporation in the quadro i i'm confused as to why the attorney general's office didn't file a pleading um because this is the core issue of child support um i i understand um i i agree uh, I agree, um, but it, I'm not sure why there was no um, motion to confirm filed prior to this. Okay, and I've seen uh, cases um, where quadros are filed, arrears disputes come up, and then the quadro gets kind of put aside until the arrears get resolved. Right. Um, no, I understand. Um, no, okay, but proceed. I mean, you, you might have testimony that changes my mind. Um, but in general, as a general matter, I don't like ordering money. I don't like taking the, you know, moving money to that can't get put back in the bag if it needs to get put back in the bag. I'd rather have zero before extreme enforcement remedies. Are yes, no, I, I, I completely understand, Your Honor. I, mm -hmm. um, and I am surprised there is no other pleading on file today as well. So, um, um, Your Honor, if I could, I'm sorry, Your Honor, if I, if I could speak. Uh, very briefly, because um, I believe I understand what's going on and testimony at this point can be taken, but you you, you may speak, Mr. Vu, briefly. Look, yeah, I, she's sitting up there. Now, he by himself, but she's sitting up there with her new husband because you see her name, Lauren Vu Johnson. So now she Johnson. And she got her big, burly new husband right there in the corner. Okay. All right. Come on with it, Doug. Let's see what you get. I tried to get a... I tried to get an attorney 
the, the review of the case and the, the amount they were going to charge me as a retain given the risk that that's why but I, I filed all the paperwork to the to the attorney general to ask for relief and I, okay. I, I just um, never got a re this is hard to explain to lay people um that there's different organizations for lack of a better word I'm with the court and the court paperwork gets filed through the district clerk's office um the attorney general's office is an agency that works with people to manage child support, but filing paperwork with the attorney general's office does not automatically mean a pleading gets filed with the court. And I only address issues filed with the court. I don't get to address issues filed with the attorney general's office. Um, and that applies to both of you and anybody watching on YouTube. Um, the attorney general's office can administratively handle things, but once you're in the courthouse, I can't administratively handle things. I handle what gets filed judicially. Um, you may proceed, Ms. Hernandez. As uh, On this record, as you can see, as of August 31st, 2023, it states the amount of child support arrears is $170,000. $170,004.36. Does this accurately reflect the amount of child support arrears owed to you? I believe so. Did Mr. Vu give you child support cash? to you in your hand or otherwise which would make this amount lower no are you asking the court to enter the qualified domestic relations order for the amount of one hundred seventy thousand four dollars and 36 cents yes mr boo as, as shown on the screen um as of october 31st 23 does the one hundred seventy thousand four dollars and 36 cents accurately reflect Child support arrearage owed to Ms. Vu Johnson? No, ma'am. And why do you believe it does not accurately reflect child support arrears? Um, because I, I paid direct payment starting from, um, I want to make sure I give you the correct date, March, March, um, I'm sorry, October 2008, in the amount of 900, all the way through to uh, March 2000. 17 when the um oag filed the the wage garnishment what or amount did you say you said the amount, um, i can't remember the number was it 800 uh 900 ma'am this couple right here was battling it out i hope they hurry up and get to a, a resolution because i you guys this is this is a long one let's see how did you allegedly make these payments I paid it um as a check payment every month that my son would uh provide uh provide her I've, I've got I've got a couple of stubs. Uh, one of the things that I've been trying to do is I've been trying to contact my bank to go all the way back to to get copies of the stubs, but they they haven't. They they're telling me unless I um, file a motion, they won't they won't grant that because it just goes too far back. But I have examples um, for started. Well, do you have do you have copies of every how many how many payments are you saying you made? A hundred? Did you make forty? How many exact I, payments did you make? Yes, ma'am. Um, so ninety-one thousand eight hundred divided by nine hundred. Let me do the math real quick. One hundred and two payments, ma'am. All right. So, are you saying that somewhere you have or can obtain a hundred and two canceled checks for nine hundred dollars? Ma'am, I, I don't have I don't have physical copies of 102. I have a couple of examples that that I kept, and I tried to get the bank to provide me more, but they they weren't able to. I can and, uh, upload to I can upload a few examples if you'd like. Well, well, I've um my other okay uh, um my next question, sir. Is... Nah, we don't want no few examples. You you want to show a couple payments that you made, and think that that's gonna um get you out of almost a hundred thousand dollars like you think you're going to show me two thousand dollars worth of payments and then i'm going to uh relieve you of you know the rest that's come on now look i was working with you doug i was working with you let's get back have you contacted your pension company chevron corporation to discuss this with them uh yes and and what they've said is it's up to i mean it's up to what the quadro says what the outcome right. of the quadro is all right um nothing further past this witness 
Your, your Honor, I'd, I'd also like to um, see if I could get, if there's any way I could get credit for the fact that my oldest son lived with me since 2000, um, 2011. May I call Ms. Johnson? The children lived with him. So I'd like to ask Ms. Johnson if this is accurate or, you know. Okay, you may do so. No, Your Honor, that is not accurate. Uh, Ms. Johnson, okay, so did you relinquish custody of one of your sons to Mr. Vu for an extended time longer than six months? Yes, for longer than six, he, when, after Hurricane Ike, <clears throat> uh, when we were going through construction here, he did stay with Doug, um, but he was a last year kid. And then before he graduated, uh, before he finished high school, he was kicked out of his father's house and that caused us to find him. She, she just, now she trying to, he did stay with him, but he was a latchkey kid. So he, if he was a teenager and he knows how to go in the house by himself, that's not acceptable. But he was a latchkey kid. You sound crazy. Yeah, uh, Nathan, a place to live. I talked to the counselor, uh, his school counselor. To complain and let them know that I have right. the only um, evidence so that I have is the, the divorce decree. The original divorce decree where I followed everything. He, he did not. I asked him other doctor's appointments. Uh, I provided him with all our his employment. He didn't notify me. He didn't give me his change of address, any of that stuff. Everything here, everything, the original divorce decree, I followed. I did that for kids' sake. Uh, <clears throat> he did not. I've kept my kids out of the loop of our legal matters They're all right I realize that there are a lot of issues at play, but man, judge, okay, we're going on to the second hearing where you didn't actually address any issue. Yeah. Feeling some type of way about that. How many times they got to come back? Okay. It looks like we're at the end of, of part two, you guys. Yes. Um, I'll grant one more continuance um, to get this right. And this will give everyone a chance again. Um, to get evidence, I, I, my ruling should be based on evidence. 
um, and proof. And if you all have proof, please get it to the attorney general's office um, so it can be shared in court. Um, if you need to file pleadings with the court, they get filed through the district clerk's office. Um, excuse me, Ms. Hernandez, I, I did send an email to the case. I, I didn't get a response back from her. So I, I, who do I contact at the OAG? I'll, I'll, I'll give both of y'all the general service email address in a moment. Um, you're on, let me get a date. Are the both parties available February 28th? It's a Wednesday. I mean, I don't, I don't understand why this keeps getting pushed off. Like, okay, what, Ms. what Johnson, am I supposed you're, to? I, I can speak with you afterwards. I'm just getting a date. I'm just getting a date. Are you available 228 on Zoom? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you want to, um, you're on a 228 at 830, please. Okay. Um, we'll receive it February 28th at 830. It'll be Thank you. Um, final setting, and, and if both parties could go into their rooms, and I'll speak with them and give them a service email address. Okay. So I guess, ma'am, can you answer Ms. Villarreal's question? Are you having any witnesses? I do not have witnesses today. Okay. Are you requesting anything of the court? Um, I'm, I'm requesting if you received a call. First, 2024, um, along with the um, attached payment record um, um, listed as state with the pleading as states exhibit B and the divorce decree that was listed as states exhibit A, um, specifically the divorce decree. Um, I'm asking that the court take judicial notice that on page 19 of that decree, uh, current child support uh, is $1,398.13 per month for the support of two children. Um, I'm also asking the court to take judicial notice of the step down provision listed on page 20 um, with the child support obligation being $1,108 dollars and 96 cents per month and i'm all for a decree that indicates that all payments should have been made through the state address y'all i've been calling this man doug his name is dung and i'm still mad at dung because i thought i wonder if he had a came with all those receipts could they have put that issue to bed but no he's on some bs let's go Initial notice of your pleading as well, well as the attachments. Judge, um, I would like to call Mr. Vu. Uh, how old are they now? Uh, uh, 2024 and 22. Now, uh, uh, what is the name of the mother? And you and his, and uh, both of you signed a final decree of divorce. Yes, ma'am. And in that decree of divorce, who was ordered to pay um, current child support for the children? Paid it as the conservator who had the children. Um, she she was. Okay. 
Now, your obligation per month for two children was $1,398.13. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Now, sir, were, was there ever a time where you made child support payments directly to Ms. Johnson? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And in fact, uh, and which, how would you make those payments to her? Uh, it was through a, um, a personal check that I provided every time I dropped off and picked up the kid once per month. And in fact, you have copies of a few checks um, regarding those payments. Is that right? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Now, do you understand why we're here today? Is that right, sir? Yeah, yes, ma'am. And, and the reason why I can't, if I can expand, the reason why okay. I can't. Okay. At, at this time, I'm just, let me ask you the questions and then uh, uh, you can just answer them, okay? At this time, uh, there are um, alleged arrears on this case, correct? Correct. And that's for failure to pay current, the child support obligations. I, I didn't pay, I did not pay them directly to the disbursement unit, correct? Okay. Now, um, you understand that the Office of the Attorney General is involved in the suit, correct? Yes, ma'am. And there was a pay. Now, <laughs> she, she is already striking me that she about to him, him up. Like, okay, he's trying to be slick. He trying to be real slick. I'm about to him him up. Tread lightly, Dung. Tread lightly. Because I, I get the feeling you about to be looking real crazy right now. Let's see. And I see the title up here. That was a terrible mistake. Let me see. He meant record regarding all of the payments uh, or failed payments on this case. Correct? Correct. Okay. And Judge, at this time, I would like to offer um, States Exhibit B, which is uh, the financial activity report associated to this child support case. Um, as of yesterday, um, when this document was generated, you it shows that you owe a, a child support arrears uh, balance of $167,420.68. Is that correct? According to this document. According to the, the document, yes. Okay. Now, um, recently, um, you have been making you have been making payments through the state disbursement unit since on or about 2017. Is that correct? Uh, March 2017. Correct. Okay. Now, now you are disputing the amount. Uh, be asking for credit of the direct payments you the um, uh, possession it, credit for my son. My in dad. addition, you are asking the court for possession credit, correct? Yes, ma'am. Now um, let's get into the um, direct payments. So you were able to provide some checks that you wrote to Ms. Vu. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, um, Judge, at this okay. time, I would like to offer. Um, non-custodial parent, Mr. Vu's Exhibit 1, which is a copy of the eight checks that were written by him. Um, I'd like to offer that into evidence. Does anyone have any objection to me admitting his NCP's Exhibit 1 into evidence? I don't agree with it. So Did you have a legal objection? Uh, uh, so do I say, like, I, I object to the what he's He's entering or? I can't give you legal advice, ma'am. This I'm is not your not chance to make your legal objection. Sorry, what? I cannot give you legal advice. This is your chance or the state's chance um, to make any legal objection they have with regard to admitting this document. Into the I'm objecting that it's not um, it's not truthful. <laughs> okay. Um, Ms. Villarreal, do you have any legal objections? Uh, no, Judge, I'm offering the exhibit, um, so oh, no okay. objection. I'm going to, I'm going to admit it um, as NCP's exhibit one. Thank you. Um, and <clears throat> Trevu, the first check, um, when was it written? Um, let me make sure I give you the correct date. Um, the first check was written for October 2008 in the amount of $900. Okay. 
Now, the set, second check that I'm showing, it was written November 20th of 2008, correct? Correct. <clears throat> and it was in the amount of $900? Yes, ma'am. Okay. The third check that was written was December 20th of, of 2008 in the amount of 900 is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Fourth check is January 20th of 2009 in the amount of Yes, ma'am. First 2016, the amount of yes, 900? It, it wasn't the next check that was paid. It was, these are only the, the, this is only the checks that I can get from the system okay. because they're only, they're only obligated to hold seven years back. Okay. I wasn't able to retrieve it all. Now, and the checks that are shown here, this is a check from January 1st, 2017 in the amount of 900. Yes, ma'am. And then that very first 2017 in the amount of 900. Yes, ma'am. And the last check shown here is March 1st, 2017 in the amount of 900. Um, did the garnishments. Okay. And that's when you started paying through the state disbursement unit. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you have, as an exhibit, eight checks in the amount of $900 to prove that you paid that directly. Yes, ma'am. Now, what was the intention for, for these checks to be paid for child support? For whatever the difference of 1398 minus 900, and I, and I, I recognize the those are arrears that I do owe the difference. Okay. Do you know, only if you know, do you know if Ms. Vu was aware that your intention was to pay the child support with these checks? Yes, ma'am. As, okay. as they were written on the, under the memo statements and they were accepted every month. How did you express your intention that these checks were specifically for child support? At at the time when we when I started to make the child support um, those direct payments in uh, March of 2008, we had a conversation, and I said I will owe you the arrears once I get back on my feet from from the failed business. And so that's what that was that's what was discussed, and I I did it directly. Now, when was this conversation had? To be honest, I don't remember the exact date, but they were accepted for over seven, nine, seven, nine years. I, I don't re okay. recall the exact date. Now, I'm not talking, so let me clarify. I'm not talking about the acceptance of the check. My question to you is, how did you communicate to Ms. Vu checks were for, child, were for child support? Through conversations. Okay, and how did you have these conversations? through a variety of manners, direct conversations in person. Um, I, I tried to go find an email, but I, I couldn't find any emails that, that went back that far. Could there have been a... Look, she, she's trying to get at something. She's taking her time about it, but I guess she's taking her time about it to give him every possible opportunity to explain himself or come with some type of reasoning before she hit them with, we don't accept that, you know, because you know, in most places, in most states, if you give money directly to someone, even if you have a child support order, if you give money directly to someone, it's seen as a gift. Like you're okay, you, you're just giving me this money for the kids. But he is stating since he put it in the memo that it should be counted at that when that's totally incorrect. Even if you have child support payments and things like that, if you want to pay, take it, if you want it to count for you, you got to take it to the court. You got to take it to the court and they'll give it to her. Or for other purposes besides child support. I, I don't think a reasonable person seeing the checks and the memos as they're stated would would think would would have any misunderstanding of what the intent of those okay. those checks are for now mr Vu, were you responsible for paying anything else to ms Vu outside of child support there was a there was a uh, a house for which at the time we both agreed that we would get we would do 50 percent upon the sale of the house but unfortunately, the house went into foreclosure. 
Now the foreclosure, the foreclosure, um, both had an opportunity to uh, to try to um, everything, so I could not, and she, she, I guess she did not either. Okay, so my question to you, Mr. Wu, is, did you have any other obligations besides the child support to pay to Ms. Vu? No, ma'am. Okay. Now, sir, you mentioned that there was a time that you had your oldest residing with you. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And uh, this was previously mentioned before, correct? Yes. And what was the time period of when your oldest child resided with you? Um, he began living with me from March 2011 to May 2017, after May 2017, but essentially- sorry, until March 2011, you said? Yes, ma'am. When saying dates, can people speak slowly? Because it's very hard to listen hear a lot of numbers and try to write them down because it's going to be a lengthy hearing and I'm not sure about it. I understand. I understand. So March 2011 to what? May, until he emancipated and then he lived shortly and after when that. that. When did May he emancipate? Um, actually, I don't know the exact date, but roughly May 2017. You understand that you still had an obligation to support or even if it was just one child based on yes, the decree, yes. correct? I understand, I understand. And, and in that decree, uh, which the judge already took judicial notice of, that step down, your support obligation was 1,118 and 96 cents, just for the one child. You understand yes, that? Yes, ma'am. So, and you understand that the difference between uh, the child support yes. amount for- Just more, there is more than one child, looks like from this marriage, but we may just be talking about the child support for one, remaining child support for one. Two children, as opposed to just supporting one, is $279.17 per month, correct? Yes, yes ma'am. Judge, at this time, I would like to offer States Exhibit D, which is a proposed possession credit calculator based on the time frame of March 2011 through May 2017. Um, and I'd like to offer that into evidence of State's Exhibit D as a guide to help the court. Do you have any objection to me admitting this as an aid to the court? I don't agree with it, but I mean, he did he 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 did have our son. Yeah, ma'am. Right now, we're just talking about admissibility. Oh, okay. Yeah, objection? please admit it because I want to debunk it. <laughs> okay. I mean, if both of you can refrain from commentary and just stick to answering questions, I would appreciate that. It's really not proper um, for either of you to do that. This shows um, the total mm -hmm. principal amount. She checked her real quick for trying to be a smart ass. I yeah, I want to see it so I can debunk it. Judge got right on her. Ugh. Based on the $279.17 per month, correct? Correct. Okay. Now you understand that that amount did accrue interest throughout the years. Correct. Okay. And so the total maximum credit for possession um, would be the $33,186.78. You understand that? Yes, ma'am. Based on this um, amortization calculation for the difference, correct? I understand. And you're asking the court to um, award you the possession credit of this amount. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Judge, at this time, I would like to pass this witness subject to any rebuttal. Um, Ms. Vu, do you have any questions uh, for Mr. Vu to answer in the form of a question? Yes. Uh, he, he says that Nathan stayed with him until May. That is a lie. Yes, the reason that's not a question. Oh. This, is question, this is if you have a question you want to direct towards Mr. Vu for Mr. Vu to answer. I have I have many questions. Okay, this is your chance to ask them, ma'am. What makes you think that you can admit that as evidence when you, you know that I went and reported you? You kicked our son out. Why would you? Why would you? Knowingly lying. I have court. direct relevancy. It's already been stipulated from the past, the last hearing. She acknowledged that that my son stayed with me. We can go back to the record to 
to have that. Uh, 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 sir, um, I'm and gonna, yes. And state's going to object to compound. Um, if you could just break down her question. I'm going to overrule Mr. Booth's objection, but I'm going to grant Ms. Villarreal's objection because I'm not sure what you're asking. Um, if you can ask one question at a time, ma'am. When did Nathan, when did Nathan officially move out of your place? I do not and know. Why, why did he move out of your place? Yeah, ma'am, one question at a time. I do not know the nerves. She getting them on nerves. She doing so much. Of 2017. Have you spoken to the counselor? Objection time frame. Ma'am, when what do you what time frame would you speak to the counselor? Has the, has the state received? Uh, I know I sent um I sent uh 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 email. Unfortunately, it was today from um the person that Nathan was staying with back in. December because we had to find housing for him. Ma'am, ma'am, this so, is not your chance to just talk. And when you ask uh, questions, you often use it as a chance to get your information in, and that, that's not proper. Um, so if you oh, can okay, stick okay. just asking factual questions without commentary. Um, I've never done this before, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm just here to answer questions. And what I'm saying is he's. I, I'm stating that the, the 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 statements that he or he's saying are, are false. This is your chance, ma'am, to ask questions. And I'm sorry, to... I'm nervous to to ask him. This you're going to get a chance to talk yourself later, and you're going to be given a chance to be asked questions by the assistant attorney general. This okay, I honestly right don't want to ask him anything. Okay, okay I don't want to ask him anything. Okay. okay, I just want to make sure it's clear for the record that this is your. Ch you can have other chances too, but this is your chance to ask him questions. If you Regar have it for him to answer. Okay. Regarding, regarding the issues before me, regarding the okay. issues in this case. Okay. This isn't a Good. chance to just talk. If you want to do that, I can send you to a breakout room where you all can talk offline. Um, but this is a chance. This hearing is about the issues before me that are blood for for both of you to present evidence and testimony regarding okay. this case. Um, I, I mean, I do. I, I do have questions for him because I, you know, are, is he still a manager at his job? Your Honor, objection relevancy. We're discussing a real no, because it's, it's, or, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm going to overrule the objection. Yes, I'm still employed at Chevron. Okay, uh, so your 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 um paper keeping your records. You're trying to say that you paid me all those um checks, but yet you've been a manager every on LinkedIn. I pulled this up. Matt pulled this up. You've been a manager. Let's see. You've been a director of a company. You've been a manager. Objection, Your Honor. Manage. Objection, Your Honor. There's no question posed to the witness. Um, Ma'am. Yeah. Sustained. Ma'am. Oh, okay. well, question. She's definitely upset that she can't ask the questions that she wants to ask she just doesn't know how to ask and i think that's the issue and then she goes off on a tangent because she doesn't know how to ask and then every time she's trying to ask she gets told that that's the wrong question to ask or the way to ask so yeah what is your relationship to the two children in this suit i am the mother okay. of the two boys nathan Matthew. Thank you. Now, thank you. Now, uh, Mr. Boo was court ordered to pay child support um, in the divorce. Okay. Now, his obligation was a monthly obligation. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Now, you heard, um, well, you saw State's Exhibit B shows that as of yesterday, Mr. Vu is in arrears for child support. Is that right? He owes? Yes. Um, the amount on, on the 420 shows says 160. I'm going to object to um, to the witness testifying to a document not admitted into evidence. The, the exhibit has already been admitted, Judge, oh, with an okay. updated amount. I'm going to sustain the objection. Now, now, Ms. Vu, just, you could just answer my questions, okay? You heard Mr. Vu state that he paid you directly for child support, right? You heard him say that? Yes, I heard him, I heard him okay. say it. Now, 
and you saw the checks, um, the eight checks in the amount of $900 that were admitted into evidence, correct? You saw them? I saw what was on the screen, yes. Now, ma'am, was there ever an agreement between you, Mr. Vu, to that he would pay you directly for child support? Now, those checks were in the amount of $900. Is that right? I saw, yes. Now, ma'am, did Mr. Vu have any other obligation to pay you a $900? per month amount uh, for anything else other than child support? Per month? No. He uh, he called it a business loan, but he had also needed uh, my co-signature for, for the beach house that we shared. Okay. So, him so give me give me one second, okay, Ms. Ms. Vu. So now you mentioned a business loan. Who provided, was there a business loan taken out? It's from my, uh, he did. Doug Vu took out a business loan, but he also, because he's brought up his credit, I don't know what the reason was, but he had also asked my husband. Do you remember that, Doug? Okay, my Ms. Ms. Vu, if you could just yeah. answer my questions and don't, you're not okay. addressing your comments to Mr. Vu. Now, did he borrow money from you? He did. Okay. What was the amount of money that he borrowed? 25000 Now, when was, um, when did he borrow this money? How how somebody owe you a hundred thousand dollars? According to the mom, mom is saying he owes almost two hundred thousand dollars. To be exact, one hundred and seventy-two thousand dollars. Mom is saying, and why would you allow someone to borrow twenty-five thousand from you that owes you that amount of money? According to you, doesn't make sense to me before God, my husband would know because he borrowed it from my husband. And so that's why it's a joke. Your, 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 your Honor, objection foundation. Lack um, of over, overruled, but I will say, Ms. Villarreal, I'm not following a lot yes, of this. <laughs> but that's now, how was Mr. Vu supposed to pay back the $25,000 loan? He said that he was going to pay us when he could. And so he paid uh, $900 a few times um i you'd have to talk to my husband that's why we i needed him to be a witness but every time i tried to bring him here he got shot down because it was him okay. it was okay. Matt, it was it was my husband ma'am ma 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 let me let me stop this for a moment i'm, I'm confused because we started this case fresh today and you were asked if you have any yes. witnesses and you said no no one shot you down for anything um okay. I'm not sure what to do with this information. Judge, well, I can continue to ask uh, more questions from this party and see what other information she may know. Your Honor, I, I, your Honor, I object I again. That, I, your Honor, I object again. Foundation, this lacks authentic, any authentication whatsoever. Okay, okay. My objection too. I have an objection too. Where did that nine hundred dollars come from? What did that amount? Yeah, this is not appropriate what you're doing right now. So please calm down. Take a deep breath. If you need to pause and take a break, we can take a break. Um, but we can't just be yelling in court. And so I'm going to overrule his objection um, and I'm going to hear more testimony on this. Thank you. Be aware I'm the trier of fact. I'm supposed to evaluate what I hear and receive and make my best judgment based on that. I'm trying to do that. And just if you could just answer my questions, were you involved in the this loan transaction? Sorry, which transaction? The loan transaction. No. Okay. No, no, I wasn't. Were you aware that the nine hundred dollars that Mr. Vu was providing to you were for child support payments? And no, ma'am. Did Mr. Vu pay you anything directly? These for child people support? are no, ma'am. <laughs> no. now, now, your oldest child, Nathaniel, did reside with Mr. Vu for a period of time. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And what was that time period that you resided with him? 
it was March uh, in 2011, because uh, we were going through, we were under construction at our house after Hurricane Ike. Okay. And when did, uh, until when? Uh, no, November. Um, so Thanksgiving, the, the, the holiday break. And so my brother was the one that came and grabbed Nathan. And he was the one that informed me that he got kicked out of his mm -hmm. dad's house. Y'all, you know what? We're going to speed ahead a little bit to see. Did we get a resolution here? Did we, out of all these cases, I believe this is the third time. This judge hasn't ruled on a damn thing. I'm At this point, I'm voting she gets disbarred. Let me speed up a little bit to see if we're getting a resolution to anything. Is, is this judge going to make a judgment on anything? Okay. Okay. Of which year? Uh, 2017. School supplies during the time that you resided with Miss with his father. I did. When he came here, there was a box of supplies that he went through. So I don't know if his dad, his, I mean, his dad probably supplied some, but I, I'm 100% certain he came here and I provided the backpack. I provided, um, uh, Matt provided him with a laptop and whatever supplies that we had here. Whenever he needed something, when he, he came for a visit, he had access to whatever we had. Now, dad, was dad, his, and you cannot deny that he was traveling a lot. Okay. Now, Ms. Vu, so, so what additional ex expenses did you have to make during the time period that Nathaniel was living with his father? And that was it. I'm sorry. That was, that was it. Just the school supplies. School supplies. Um, we maintained the health insurance if they uh, asked for it. I remember him. I took him to um, the uh, optometrist and the dentist when he your was Honor, here. Your Honor, again, and objection. You, hearsay. And your I, Honor, I, I I objection. and Judge, I am going to object to relevance solely on the purpose that the motion for confirmation is just for child support and not any outstanding medical uh support obligation or any uninsured medical support expenses none of that was pled for or asked for um in the oag's pleading judge this is solely just for the child support i'm going to sustain the objection okay judge at this time i pass this witness i'm almost afraid to answer because this will just get out of hand or ask this will get out of hand, Your Honor. I, I just want to be able to enter some some proof of. Okay, this is not that time. So let's get past my first question before we go on to other things. Um, do you want to ask her anything? No, ma'am. Okay. Um, do you have anything further, Ms. Villarreal? No, Judge. Okay. Um, since you're both representing yourselves, I'm going to give you both the chance to say anything else um, you'd like to say. Uh, the state does not represent either of you. Um, I don't represent anybody in this. I'm here to listen to evidence lord what are they gonna say especially this lady I'm gonna let you speak i just want to remind you all this is court um please follow court decorum as you the courthouse even though you're on a computer this is a courtroom and um please remember to stick to um, the issues that are before us which is a confirmation of arrears uh, mr vu um, i'll let you go first well yeah your honor i i just want to just acknowledge the evidence that i've put forward I just want to acknowledge um, that there are arrears that I, I, I did owe, um, but they are not the amounts. I, I want to acknowledge that uh, um, we've the you know the the um, the reasonableness clause to be able to state that you know given those payments that I made. He started around. Ago, let's let's see if um, we get any resolution here. Go on a little the further. That you're talking about. 2000 and you don't have to i'm asking you to perjure yourself again pre-divorce post-divorce would answer my question no it was it was before i mean it was during it was before we actually went to court okay you're and i tried to maintain i tried to maintain i tried to help you i can hear both of you because you're both talking over each other um my next question is your, your honor if i could ask you to roll on my objection what did you i couldn't hear it I, yeah i said uh, um lack of authentication objection your honor I don't know what you're objecting to. What are you objecting this to? Loan, this supposed loan, Your, your Honor. Oh, There's I'm no overruling evidence. that. I, I, I'm asking questions about it to learn more about it, sir. So I'm overruling your objection about that. 
Um, ma'am, are there I'm any gonna, documents? I'm going to find a piece of paper with your handwriting with, with your handwriting ma on it. Ma'am, 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 that's not appropriate. You're not supposed to be having a conversation with Mr. Vu. So please stop doing that. Okay, I was asking a question before you interrupted me, Ms. Johnson. Um, do you have any documents regarding the loan? Not with me, ma'am. I'd have to find it. Do they exist. I, we, it exists. Oh, it exists. But we're still under construction. I mean, we. It's in a box. I'd have to find it. Was the loan addressed in your divorce? No. Do you know what he was supposed to pay towards the, oh, you said that it was what he could afford. He had several things going on at once. He had Cafe Madrid. He had. Your Honor, again, re objection, relevancy. And what's the relevance of that? The, that he. The, the, your, your Honor, the issue before you is. I was quadru. asking her. I was asking her why it's relevant, sir, not you why it's irrelevant. Ma'am, why is that relevant? It's relevant because I think that he thinks that he, by giving me $900 that he's applying it to the child support, which we never agreed on. And where did that, that amount come from? Okay, what does Cafe Madrid have to do with any of this? Oh, it's it's yet another asset that he was trying to hide from me. Okay, I'm gonna um, sustain his objection. And I didn't know about it. Ma'am, I'm gonna sustain his objection. Okay. Um, does anyone have any quick brief closing judge? Okay. Ms. Johnson, do you have anything further? Any further I evidence like you'd to, wish to present? I would like the court, I would like the court to honor what was on a divorce decree. I mean, it was his lawyer and he that drew up the amount. And it was he that uh, that 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 said that he was going to to honor it and he did not. Everything that's that on that the divorce decree, he had has not honored, and that's why I'm I'm bringing up the beach house and the restaurant, and you know this because it's a history, it's a pattern. It's a pattern. Ask him about what happened to the restaurant. Your Honor, again, uh, objection what, relevancy. Ask him what happened to the beach house. I didn't have to check your Honor any outside of that the stuff. scope of this proceeding. I'm going to sustain both objections. You're back on the record. Okay, I've looked at everything and reviewed everything. Um, and Judge. If but if I may, um, I was going to do a brief closing for the court, but okay, if, I'm sorry. It's okay. The state would be requesting, in addition to the confirmation of the arrears, is the allocation of the court costs associated to the filing of the MRAD, and that's it. But I can do my closing if Your Honor wants to. Wants to no, no, it's not necessary. Okay, perfect. Um, so. I am going to give possession credits um, in the amount of $30,879. Um, that is the full amount left. I'm sorry. <laughs> her exhibit E, which is her, her proposed periods of possession, less that last column. And then I am going to also give some credit for direct payments and order a cumulative um guess just for this amount um for a, for a judgment of seventy five thousand dollars judge the arrears alone is three hundred and seventy five uh, i'm sorry the interest yeah i'm sorry yes it's three hundred and seventy five dollars per month um state is just requesting that it cover the interest and an additional amount um so that it he was currently paying twice a month it's just twice a month, three fifty nine twenty three. Yes, Judge. It's about seven hundred and eighteen dollars and forty six cents. Why don't we set the payout then at seven hundred dollars a month? Yes, Your Honor. I'm sorry, Your Honor. My dog was. I, I didn't hear that last amount about. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can. I, I can't. You can't hear me. No. 
One more time. Can you hear me? Yes, but sometimes it breaks up, so I don't know if it's going to break up again until you start okay. speaking. All right. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't understand the $700 amount. That you were talking about. It's a monthly amount you're going to pay to pay off that judgment. Okay. And, and then it will change the because, well, it won't change, but it will go down faster because it's, the quadro is going to be entered. I have no idea how much is in that account. So I don't know if it's going to pay it in full. And once it's paid, you won't owe that anymore. Or if there's going to be money left over, I, I don't know. Okay. Mama looks like she's ready to go off. Again. Can I ask a process question? So Look at the, her squirming the, around, the raising her hand. Will sweep the account for seventy-five thousand dollars. Is that what that means? I don't know what's in the account, so I don't know. I don't know how much money is in the account, so I can't. If there's only five dollars in the account, it's not going to take seventy-five thousand. And I don't know the number. I don't think it's five, but I don't know if it's seventy-five thousand. This is seven hundred a month for. You blind. Because if there is only five dollars in the account, you're going to have to this back. I understand. I understand. Okay. So it's Thank not going to take, it's all the state can take from you, not really taking from you, all that they can withhold or that you will owe. Because it, it might not, you might have to voluntarily pay this. So they're job. singing dad has um, been fighting for years, plus according to mom, on it, it will she will be able to get that back. 6% per annum. Yes, Judge. And that 700 will begin April 1st of 2024. And it said the judgment is as of March 20th. And then I'm going to order that Mr. Vu pay any court costs due to Galveston County for the motion to confirm arrears um, by September 30th. How much, how much is the court? I'm sorry. How much is the court cost? I don't have an exact number for you, sir. It's usually a few hundred dollars. What service did or didn't happen in the case? Um, so. That's fair. And but you said September 30th of 2024, correct? Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. And, and how will I be notified of that cost? You should probably contact the district clerk's office in Galveston. May I appeal this? Yes, you may, ma'am. I'm appealing it. OK. That you might want to consult a lawyer or the law library or texaslawhelp.com. No, I, I, will, I will get a lawyer. I'm letting Doug know. I'm, I'm, I'm saying it on the record. I just want to this clear on the record. Saying you appeal it on the record does not appeal it. I just want you to know that. So you might want to consult a lawyer. Thank you, Your Honor. And with that, Your Honor, may the parties be excused to the breakout room so they can prepare a final order on this case. Yes, you all may be excused to the breakout rooms. The AG's office is going to draft the order. Um, it, it is a ruling of me. So if you refuse to sign, um, I will be signing it anyway. One moment, ma'am. And um, yes, yeah, so in case you didn't hear that, it's there, but you're going to go to the breakout rooms. Miss Villarreal is going to draft the order. She'll send it. You know, I know people be passionate in the moment, but they really do need to learn how to control themselves when you are in a courtroom setting. Why are you acting like that lady? Your docu sign to review and sign off on. If you refuse to sign, that's fine. Um, signing it doesn't mean you agree, just so you know that. If you refuse to sign, that's fine, um, because it was a ruling of the court. I will sign the order. Ms. Johnson, are, are you okay? Okay. So I did had to speed that up a little bit, you guys, because I was just like, oh, Lord, y'all y'all are doing a lot right here. Uh, it seemed like I, I'm surprised that the judge made the ruling that she made because she seemed like she wasn't getting what she needed, you know, the evidence she needed to make a decision on anything. But, you know, long story short on this, you guys, thank you if you stuck with it this far, is that take care of your kids. Take financial responsibility for your kids. That's a lot to go through just to get out of financially taking care of your kids and then having to make up all the lies and the deceit afterwards. It's like, come on, just take care of the kids that you made, that you willingly made. Okay, everybody, thanks for coming on into the Candy Coated Courtroom, episode two. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.